Part nine of Everglades Wild Guide by Jean Craighead George. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Reading by Matt Perard. Part nine. Appendix. Illustration: Tropical thicket. Glossary. Algae. Pronounced algae. A group of plants. Singular alga. Pronounced alga one-celled or many-celled having chlorophyll without roots and living in damp places or in water brackish water mixed fresh and salt water many species of plants and animals of marine and freshwater habitats are adapted to life in estuaries and coastal swamps and marshes where the water varies greatly in degree of salinity some animal species can be found in all three habitats bromeliad a plant of the pineapple family many bromeliads are air plants growing not parasitically on the trunks and branches of other plants or even as in the case of spanish moss on telephone wires community the living part of the ecosystem an assemblage of plants and animals living in a particular area or physical habitat it can be as small as a decaying log with its variety of mosses insect larvae burrowing beetles ants etc or as large as a forest of hundreds of square miles deciduous trees trees that shed their leaves annually most hardwood trees are deciduous some conifers such as larches and bald cypresses are deciduous ecology the study of the relationship of living things to one another and to their physical environment endangered a species of plant or animal that throughout all or a significant portion of its range is in danger of extinction environment all the external conditions such as soil water air and organisms surrounding a living thing estivation a prolonged dormant or sleep-like state that enables an animal to survive the summer in a hot climate as in hibernation breathing and heart beat slowed down and the animal neither eats nor drinks estuary the portion of a river or coastal wetland affected by the rise and fall of the tide containing a graded mixture of fresh and salt water everglade a tract of marshy land covered in places with tall grasses in this book the everglades refers to the river of grass everglades refers to the park which contains other habitats besides everglades exotic a foreign plant or animal that has been introduced intentionally or unintentionally into a new area food chain a series of plants and animals linked by their food relationships beginning with a green plant and ending with a predator habitat the place where an organism lives the immediate surroundings living and unliving of an organism the habitat of the pine warbler is the pinelands the habitat of an internal parasite of this bird is the body of the warbler hammock a dense growth of broad-leaved trees on a slightly elevated area not wet enough to be a swamp in the park hammocks are surrounded either by pineland or by marshland glades hardwood trees trees with broad leaves as opposed to cone-bearing trees which have needles or scales most hardwood trees are deciduous though many in south florida retain their leaves throughout the year key a reef or low-lying island in south florida the term key is often also applied to hammocks or pinelands which occupy areas where the limestone is raised above the surrounding wetlands limestone a sedimentary rock derived from the shells and skeletons of animals deposited in seas 
and consisting mostly of calcium carbonate soluble in water having a slight degree of acidity it is often characterized by caverns and in the everglades by a very heavy surface the rock underlying most of the park is the miami oolite pronounced o -u -lite, formed during a recent glacial period o -ulitic limestone is composed of tiny round concretions only indirectly derived from marine shells mangrove any of a group of tropical or subtropical trees growing in estuaries and other low-lying coastal areas usually producing aerial roots or prop roots and often forming dense growths over a large area in south florida there are four species belonging to three different families marsh a wetland salt or fresh where few if any trees and shrubs grow characterized by grasses and sedges in freshwater marshes cattails are common marl in this book used in the sense of a deposit of mixed limestone and smaller amounts of clay south florida marls are sometimes called lime muds peat partly decayed moisture absorbing plant matter accumulated in bogs swamps etc predator an animal that lives by capturing other animals for food slump a channel of slow-moving water in coastal marshland the sharp river slough and taylor slough are the main channels where the glades water flows in the park generally remaining as reservoirs of water when when the glades dry in the rainless season they are important to survival of aquatic animals swamp wetland characterized by shrubs or trees such as maples gums bald cypresses and in south florida coast areas mangroves freshwater swamps are usually not covered by water the year around threatened a species still present in its range but that without significant changes in conditions is capable of becoming endangered tree island an island of trees shrubs and herbaceous plants growing on an elevation in a depression or at the same level as the surrounding glades includes hammocks willow heads cypress heads and bay heads for reading and reference ashton ray jr and patricia sawyer ashton handbook of reptiles and amphibians of florida volume one the snakes volume two lizards turtles and crocodilians volume three the amphibians miami windward publishing incorporated nineteen eighty one to eighty eight bell c ritchie and brian j taylor florida wild flowers and roadside plants chapel hill laurel hill press nineteen eighty two cox w eugene in pictures everglades the continuing story las vegas kc publications nineteen eighty nine craighead frank c the role of the alligator in shaping plant communities and maintaining wildlife in the southern everglades maitland florida audubon society nineteen sixty nine degolia jack everglades the story behind the scenery las vegas k c publications nineteen eighty one douglas marjorie stoneman everglades river of grass st simon's island georgia mockingbird books nineteen seventy four downs dorothy Miccosukee arts and crafts miami Miccosukee tribe of indians of florida nineteen eighty two Hoffmeister, John Edward, Land from Sea, The Geologic Story of South Florida, Coral Gables, University of Miami Press, 1968. Lane, James A., 
a birder's guide to florida denver allen p press nineteen eighty nine peterson roger torrey a field guide to the birds east of the rockies boston houghton mifflin company nineteen eighty robertson william b everglades the park story homestead florida florida national parks and monuments association incorporated nineteen eighty nine romashko sandra the shell book miami windward publishing incorporated nineteen eighty four stevenson george b trees of the everglades national park and the florida keys miami banyan books incorporated nineteen eighty four tebow charlton e man in the everglades coral gables university of miami press nineteen sixty eight toots connie m the alligator monarch of the marsh homestead florida florida national parks and monuments association incorporated nineteen eighty eight toots connie everglades stillwater minnesota voyager press nineteen eighty nine truesdale william g a guide to the wilderness waterway of the everglades national park coral gables university of miami press nineteen eighty five u s fish and wildlife service rare and endangered fish and wildlife of the united states washington u s government printing office nineteen sixty four williams winston florida's fabulous waterbirds their stories tampa worldwide printing nineteen eighty four zim herbert s everglades national park and the nearby florida keys new york golden press nineteen eighty five end of part nine Part 10 of Everglades Wild Guide by Jane Craighead George. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Reading by Matt Berard. Part 10. Rare and Endangered Animals. Here is a partial list of the rare and endangered species and subspecies found in Everglades National Park and Fort Jefferson National Monument. Mammals. Florida Panther. Cougar west indian manatee sea cow birds snail kite southern bald eagle arctic peregrine falcon cape sable sparrow wood stork red cockaded woodpecker reptiles and amphibians green turtle eastern indigo snake oxbill turtle loggerhead turtle american crocodile handbook one forty three the national park service expresses its appreciation to all those persons who made the preparation and production of this handbook possible special thanks are extended to frank craighead senior pat miller bill robertson and saul schiffman who read the manuscript and provided much useful information the checklists were compiled over many years by various members of the everglades national park staff the service also gratefully acknowledges the financial support given this handbook project by the everglades natural history association a non-profit group that assists interpretive efforts at the park the cover photograph is by glenn van nimwegen national park service u s department of the interior as the nation's principal conservation agency the department of the interior has responsibility for most of our nationally owned public lands and natural resources this includes fostering the wisest use of our land and water resources protecting our fish and wildlife preserving the environmental and cultural values of our national parks and historical places and providing for the enjoyment of life through outdoor recreation the department assesses our energy and 
mineral resources and works to assure that their development is in the best interest of all our people the department also has a major responsibility for american indian reservation communities and for people who live in island territories under u s administration end of part ten end of everglades wild guide by jean craighead george